She's all around you, at the gates of bridges, in the dark city corners, as the mother figure for prestigious institutions. She watches you silently, as a figure of justice, exploration, and salvation. She's on every coast, in countless museums, and even in your own pockets. But you, in all likelihood, have never even seen her. Her name is Audrey Munson, the most visible person never seen. In 1906, when Audrey was just 15 years old, she was spotted in the streets by photographer Ralph Draper, who in turn introduced her to a friend, sculptor Isidore Conti. Conti, with charm and charisma, persuaded the young woman to model for him. This would be the moment that would change Audrey's life forever. I know of no other model with particular style that Miss Munson possesses. There's a certain ethereal atmosphere about her that is rare. For the next decade, Munson became the model of choice for a host of sculptors and painters in New York City. By 1915, she was so well established that she was chosen by Alexander Calder as the model of choice for the Panama Pacific International Exposition. As a result of her exposure, Munson moved to California in 1960 to provide her musing for another up-and-coming art form, the movies. In her first film, Inspiration, she played a sculptor's model, not much of a stretch for the established Munson. However, Inspiration became a groundbreaking film as it was the first ever to have a woman appear fully nude. The outgoing Munson had no qualms about posing in the nude, and later in life, she told an interviewer, I detest false modesty. For my part, I see nothing shocking in our unclothed bodies. The controversy stirred by her openness forced Munson to return to New York in 1919. She lived with her mother in a boarding house owned by Dr. Walter Wilkins. Wilkins, after falling completely in love with her, murdered his wife, Julia, so that he could be available for marriage. Although Munson and her mother had left New York prior to the murder, the police still wished to question them. They were finally discovered in Toronto, Canada, where they testified that they had moved as a request from the late Mrs. Wilkins. This apparently satisfied the police, but the negative publicity generated by the case effectively ended Munson's career as a model and an actress forever. By 1920, just a year later, Munson, unable to find work anywhere, returned with her mother to the town of Mexico, New York, and was forced to sell kitchen utensils door to door just to make ends meet. On May 27, 1922, she swallowed mercury to take her own life, but did not succeed. This began her battle with severe mental illness and paranoia, and shortly after, a judge ordered the 39-year-old Munson into a psychiatric facility for treatment. She remained detained for the next 65 years, right until her death in 1996, at the age of 104. Audrey Munson, face to scores of statues, bas-reliefs, and idols around the city, was buried in an unmarked grave and forgotten by time. Every day, literally hundreds of thousands of people pass under her watchful eyes. As the moments of time slowly drift away, leaving her further and further in the depths of obscurity. Today, she silently inspires those that pass through her shadows, living on frozen in time in a city that constantly changes, but will never abandon her eternal image.